It's six o'clock. Um, I'm a little early tonight, and I do apologize for that. Um, I don't generally have much of a life, but I do have something going on tonight that made it a little bit hard for me to do anything at 7.15. Yay! Wow! Hey guys, nice to see you. Sweet. Um, so yeah, sorry I kind of threw this out at you guys really uh, sort of last minute. Hey Lacey. Hey Kelly. Hey Kathy. Um, hello. Um, so tonight we're, um, like I said, I posted in the group, I don't usually have much of a life, but I'm actually going out tonight. Uh, one of my very oldest friends in the world, um, is up from, hey Christina, is up from Nashville actually this week, which is really cool. Um, I've known him for over 20 years. Um, so yeah, like I've known him longer than my kid. Um, but he's one of the most amazing blues players you'll ever meet. Um, his name is Trevor Finley. So I'm going to be there tonight. Um, I'm probably most likely going to do a live. Um, however, I'm going to be there on Saturday night. So this is at Blues on White, in case you guys care or are interested. Um, but yeah, just amazing, amazing music. It's kind of what I grew up on, which is kind of weird for like an Alberta white girl, right? Like, I don't know. But it's I love it. It's amazing music. Hey, Kathy. Anyway, so tonight uh, our subject is about why weight training isn't just for men or bodybuilders. Um, and really, in fact, it's probably the best thing that you can be doing for yourself if you're a woman and you're over 40 years old. Um, so I'm going to go through some points here. I've made um, quite a few notes. Um, so if it sounds like I'm reading, I probably am. Um, I feel like my camera's all like slimy here. I'm going to fix that. All right. I put makeup on. I don't know. It's kind of sad looking, but anyways, um, if you guys have questions or comments, um, please make sure that you are posting below. Okay. So I'll do the best that I can to address the questions that are coming in. Um, so why weight training isn't just for men or bodybuilders. And I think like, honestly, if you guys have been coming to caps and stuff like that, you've already probably figured out a lot of reasons why weight training is so good for you. Um, so I've got about, um, I don't know, seven or eight really valid points here about those kinds of things. So I'm going to make the point and then if you guys have questions or comments, please comment below and then we'll talk about it and then we'll kind of move on. Okay. Um, so of course the first thing is, um, to lose body fat. Um, so yeah, you start weight training, you're going to lose body fat. Um, as you increase your lean muscle. Um, so does your, your resting metabolism goes up. All right. So put it this way. So a pound of fat versus a pound of muscle, um, they burn at different rates. So a pound of fat burns about two calories an hour. Um, a pound of muscle burns 30 to 35 to 50 calories, a hour per pound. Okay. Um, or sorry, per... For each pound of muscle, you burn 35 to 50 more calories a day. I'm making that kind of more complicated than it is. All right. So here comes the thing. Um, please don't tell me that muscle weighs more than fat or fat weighs more than muscle. That's not a thing. That's not even if you think about what you're saying, that makes no sense. Um, I've heard this a thousand times. I've even had arguments over this. A pound is a pound is a pound. It really doesn't matter what it is. It's still the measurement of what the, whatever it is that you're measuring, right? So, but a pound of fat versus a pound of muscle. Okay. So that's what we're talking about, right? Hey, Stephanie. Um, so let's think about that for a little bit. So as for each pound of muscle you burn, 35 to 50 calories mm -hmm. a day. So depending on how big you are or you tall or all those kinds of things, man or woman, those things kind of come into play. All right. So it does increase your resting metabolism. So that's why, honestly, I will just be really honest with you. Well, you guys know this. I hate cardio. It sucks. I'll pick the pull-ups over the burpees any day of the week. But 
as much as, yeah, like I've got lots of muscle and stuff, I'm really not that big of a person. Um, it, it, can, it tones you, it shapes you, right? So um, again, pound of fat, pound of muscle, right? So they're very, very, very different things and they give you the tone and shape, your muscle, um, of your body, right? So that's kind of why we do so many weights in class. Um, it's not about um, how much you're lifting, well, sometimes it is, and some of you know that you need to be lifting a little bit more. Um, you're not gonna get big and bulky. Um, I'm bigger than probably most of you, pretty much all of you, um, but that's because I've actually done that on purpose. Um, I weight train probably five to six days a week. Um, I don't do a ton of cardio. In fact, like I avoid it like the plague, like it's a friggin' disease. So <laughs> keep that in mind. I'm not a boot camper. I probably should be coming to more boot camps because I need to lose the little tiny tire around my waist. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm not overly concerned about my weight um, just because I'm not a very big person and most of it's being burnt off through my muscle and metab metabolism, right? So um, those are sort of the things that I consider when I choose my workouts and when I plan my workouts. I'm more thinking, um, long-term strength how can I burn out that particular muscle group while I'm still trying to build muscle right so definitely you're burning tons of calories while you're lifting and stuff like that but it's nowhere near um, what you're gonna do during cardio so it's a very different kind of choice um, anyway so that's kind of goes into my second point um, you can gain strength without the bulk all right so some of us just want to be a little bit bigger um, but honestly to be really honest it's really hard for women to put on a lot of muscle because we're just not built that way um, we have a lot of hormone stuff going on our metabolism is a lot different than um, men um, especially as we get older right um, but muscle tone and definition which is why I was saying that before kind of lead into this if you guys have any questions please let me know okay um, so I want to speak to people who are kind of like in their late 30s and over f maybe going to their 40s and stuff like that. And that's really kind of who I wanted to target tonight because these are the people that weight training is really, really so specific towards because we talk about things like osteoporosis and bone density and things like that. Well, I'm here to tell you that weight training increases your bone density. So it increases your, the minerals in your spinal bone density and if you are starting to weight train um, you can increase your bone density by 13 percent just in a matter of six months all right so it really has nothing to do with age it has nothing to do with you pounding out doing bench presses and stuff like that it's not about that right we're we're trying to gain health from this okay um, so again, so the risk of osteoporosis um, definitely, definitely goes down. And I don't know if you guys have seen that wonderful woman. She's out of the States. I cannot remember her name right now. She is almost 90 years old and she weight trains pretty much every day. She also runs, um, but you should see this woman. I'll probably post it. I know Jen's posted it, a couple people. I think Sheena's posted it a couple times as well. Um, but I'll probably post that in the groups uh, a little bit later if I can remember to do that. Um, but yeah, guys, this is this is really important. All right. So um, I know I got a lot of shit from the milk thing, um, but the most important thing from that episode was to take away that you don't need milk for calcium uh, gains. So again, weight training and having good sources of calcium um, are going to really help as you get older. All right. So again, it doesn't matter what kind of athletic level you're at. So if you're just beginning, um, if you've been doing it for years, maybe you run every single day of your life, um, and you've never done any weight training, now's the time to really start. All right. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to go in the gym and start, like I said, bench pressing and doing this crazy stuff. But you know what, just having that all over, which is what we provide at South Edmonton and West Edmonton and Innisfail uh, Fit Body Boot Camp um, is an all over body workout. Uh, sometimes we have focuses on certain body parts and things like that, 
but in general you get a pretty damn good workout in a half an hour so you're using strength um, sometimes we don't use weights we use body weight training or resistance band training which all equals the same because we're building muscle here right um, do you guys have any questions or comments on that? I'm just going to have a drink of water here. It's a little windy out here, so I hope you guys aren't hearing the wind. But let's just kind of move on a little bit. All right, so if there's no questions. Um, so the next thing would be, so if we've got all of those first things, you know, we want to lose some body fat, trade it for some lean muscle, gain strength without the bulk, muscle definition, all of those kinds of things. Just decrease your risk of osteoporosis um, by bringing in that spinal bone density, like the minerals to that, uh, sorry, spinal bone mineral density uh, by 13% in six months. Um, the next one would be, which is probably really important to a lot of you, improving your athletic performance. So I know a lot of you play other sports. Right? So you play ball, you play volleyball, you're golfers, you're skiers, you're sprinters, you're maybe hockey players. Um, every last one of you are going to benefit from strength training. And I think that that really kind of goes hand in hand. If you are any kind of an athlete, if you've ever been coached or anything like that, they're obviously going to get you to go into the gym. You're not going to just start off the couch and just start sprinting or start skiing. You've never done anything like this before in your life, right? So it all comes with a lot of training. So that's why strength training is so... Pickleball! Yes, Stephanie! Um, I've never played it, but it sounds like fun. It actually sounds like there's a lot of coordination involved too. Um, so all of those kinds of things really come into play. And strength training really improves that athletic performance right so sprinters right so getting off that block as fast as you can skiing i mean you're putting a ton of uh of weight on your legs you know as you're kind of slaloming down the hill or whatever the hell you guys do um golfers even right so i i could hit the side of a barn to save my life but you know i was sort of reading about the the aspect of golfers um and really because well, maybe I shouldn't say this, but my interpretation is that as we kind of age, a lot of uh, people who are golfing are a little bit older. All right. I know that's not totally entirely true, but it uh, it really improves that performance. So think about your swing, your core, your hips, um, with your shoulders, your follow through or whatever it is. I don't play golf, obviously. Um, but think about those kinds of things that this is going to improve, right? Um, let's see, any questions, comments? Um, all right, so we're going to move on to, and again, sort of another thing that's really important, especially because this is what we teach you guys, um, at boot camp, right? Um, it's not just a half an hour you're improving the rest of your life, right? So your daily physical activities. So playing with the kids, um, doing your laundry, going grocery shopping, stuff like that. Honestly, um, I'm, I was a previous waitress in my life, so I'm one of those people who will not make a second trip back to my car. So my arms are sort of lightened up. I mean, I've got them around my neck. I've, my knees like got things attached to it there's no way I'm taking a second trip but I can tell you right now that when I was 20 years old there's no friggin way that I could do that um, but I don't know sometimes it's sort of like a test right but so think about things like that you know like just playing with your kids those things have friggin energy like crazy I have one she sleeps all day it's she's 16 and a half I don't know it's a thing um, but for the rest of you who have little ones, you guys are running around after these critters all day. And I know that they have a ton of energy. I watch them, believe me, and it's exhausting just watching them. So for those of you who are running after them all day, this is helping you, right? So again, your metabolism is going up, your energy levels are going up, your strength is going up. You know, they're passing you on the monkey bars show them up one day maybe right 
Um, so yeah, like just general activities, lifting things out of the car, you know, especially if you've got babies and stuff. Man, they come with a lot of equipment, car seats and strollers and freaking, man, I can't, I'm surprised people aren't bodybuilders after they have a kid after a year, to be really honest. Um, but yeah, so just general activities, like things in life just get a lot easier when you have a little bit more strength, right? Um, and then the last thing I kind of wanted to touch on um, was reducing your risk of injury, things like back pain, arthritis, stuff like that. So the funny thing is a lot of you know that I do suffer from lower back pain, um, more of an injury that happened many years ago. Um, and it was from uh, improper form. And I totally messed my back up doing like deadlifts on a bow flex. Do not do that. Especially if you don't know how to do a deadlift. That was like 10, 11 years ago. Um, and I, and I suffer from that, but you know what? I really found strength in certain things. Um, certain, especially just weightlifting. It's made all the difference. Honestly, I couldn't walk for almost two months. It was brutal. Um, and every now and then it does go down, but it's usually because I haven't been paying attention and I'm doing things improperly um, and I just kind of let it go, right? Uh, but reducing your injury, your, uh, your risk of injury, back pain, and arthritis. So we think about things like connective tissues and they increase joint stability. Um, so when we do all the lunges and all the squats and all those kinds of things, um, you're really building up the muscle to support the rest of your body, if you think about it, right? So, for example, a plank uh, for low back, right? We don't do a lot of exercises specifically for low back, which is good and bad, right? I mean, we do a lot of bending over, we do a lot of squatting, we do a lot of stuff that will strengthen, but the, one of the best exercises you can possibly do for your back um, is a plank. Um, and a lot of you will complain when we're doing planks, you get it, you're getting back pain. I'm telling you right now, most of it's because of weakness or hip displacement, um, again, joint pain, things like that. We need to build up that strength. Start on your knees, okay? Um, there's lots of different ways that we can do, start out with that. Um, don't, don't overdo things. If you know that your back's sore, meaning you need it, you have to stand up and walk and stuff, um, don't be doing reverse burpee to front burpee. Tell your trainer, right? Um, but if you do suffer from back pain, I'm, I can't stress this enough. Planks are probably one of the best things that you can do to, to stabilize that back pain and really build up the strength in your, in your core. Your core supports your whole body, all right? So your neck and your shoulders. Um, a lot of you have desk jobs and stuff like that, so you're doing what I'm doing right now, kind of hunching over, and especially as you get tired, you kind of sort of slump into things and you start getting pains and things like that. And, you know, a core strength has a lot to do with that. Um, so yeah, that's why we do a ton of squats, um, that of course supports your low spine because we're dealing with your glutes, um, your hamstrings, your quads. I mean, you're supporting yourself here, right? Um, it's not just about how much you can lift or how many squats you can do or anything like that. It's, it is about doing them properly. It is about doing them with proper form. Um, just recently, um, I've kind of gone back and reevaluated the way I've been doing my squats, dropped a ton of the weight, um, just so I can go a little bit deeper and using like a full mirror so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And frick am I sore, but it's made all the difference. Um, again, like I just had that back pain issue the last couple weeks. I actually had to take a couple days off work, which sucked and I'm not good at sitting still. Um, but I had to do it, right? Because I just pushed myself and I wasn't paying attention and I wasn't doing the right things. Um, but there's so many things that we can do about that, right? Um, and then the very last thing and probably one of the most important things would be strength training eliminates a lot of stress. Uh, any mental functions that are causing you distress, depression, 
um, all of those kinds of things. And I think a lot of you can attest to that, that even though there's lots of cardio, um, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes it's just all weight training or body strength. Um, so you, it's, it takes a lot, right? But by the time you're done, you walk in there, you're angry, you're not feeling very good, you've had a really bad day, maybe things aren't going very well for you up here, right? Um, maybe you suffer from depression or any other kind of mental illness. I, I can tell you right now that this is one of the best stress relievers. It helps with anxiety, it helps with those mental functions. Um, your clarity after having a really good strength workout is a lot different. Um, like I went to the gym today and I did uh, chest and triceps and because it was my day off I took a little bit more time, planned my workout before I got there and it was a really good workout. Like I felt good about what I did. There was lots of strength there, there was lots of energy and I felt great when I left and I've, I haven't been hitting my workouts as often as I like. Um, I'm probably hitting maybe three to four weight training workouts a week right now um, versus five to six. That's usually what I strive for um, just because of certain things. Life, right? It happens. Um, it's not always happening. So I do try, like, when I have those that time, um, I, I really, like, I, use, I put on my music. I, you know, do my thing. Um, and that's what I really want you guys to do, which is why we play really good music and we kind of joke around and it doesn't have to be all about, um, just the workout, right? It's, at the end of the day, it's about you and how you're feeling. Um, right? Stress reliever. It's an awesome stress reliever. Um, so not a lot of comments tonight. That's okay, because I know it's a really different time. Um, yes, Lacey, I know you do. And I, that I, know, I know that there's several people um, that do come to camp and that do deal with it. Different kinds of mental stress. I mean, oh my God, who doesn't deal with stress really at the end of the day? But some of us have a little bit more, more challenges than others. I know that I have a lot of anxiety just because of my sleep disorder. Um, we all do. And sometimes we don't really want to admit it because it's, it's private and all of that. But man... When I see you guys work in class, it just makes me so happy. And especially when I see you walk in and then you walk out. What a change. Um, anyway, so I'm going to cut this down. Um, we're going to finish for the night. If nobody else has any comments, um, I'm going to resume our uh, giveaways next weekend. Or, pardon me, next Thursday. So do I, Lacey. Um, and I think a lot of people do. I think there's a lot of people out there that deal with depression and we don't always want to admit it because everybody's talking about it all the time, but they're not admitting that it's an actual thing, right? Um, blaming it on things, stuff like that. Do something about it, right? Get out there, change it, change your circumstance. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to resume with the giveaways next weekend or pardon me, next Thursday. Um, just because, um, I don't really have anything here to show you. Um, and it was a really weird time to do this tonight as well. My cat peed on my gym bag. So I had to throw it out. So I don't even have an example here. Um, it was disgusting. So yeah. Anyways, so next Thursday we'll resume our giveaways. Um, Remember, Tuesday, I will be interviews, interviewing Rosalind Fung. It will be in the morning, regardless um, if anybody's online or not. We're going to definitely record it and make sure that you guys have access to this. I'm probably going to see if I can get Rosalind to join us in the next few weeks, possibly during our challenge, um, which would be really cool, but we'll see how things go. All right, so you guys have a lovely evening. Maybe I'll see you guys a little mm -hmm. bit later. Um, I'm heading out to the bar. I don't do that very often. It's been a long time. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm up to tonight. That's why it's a little bit early. Um, so I'll hopefully see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow. I'm there pretty much all day tomorrow. Um, aside from that, I don't really have anything else to say. You guys have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow, right?